Gaza, Reuters cameraman. 5 p.m. Wednesday, 16th of April 2008. Fields shimmer in sunlight. Fardel lanes his camera across the valley at a tank. Flash, smoke, shell, then sudden dark. The mic picks up a crunch. A frantic camera. Two boys and a torn bicycle lie on the road. Further on, the spot where Fardel lies with his friends still, strangely twisted. Someone removes his damaged camera. His TV car rages, spews black smoke, its side is split, back blown off. Flechettes have perforated its windscreen. The soundtrack now is screaming. At hospital, Fardel is greeted by his chief mourner. T-shirt drenched in family blood, he cradles his dead brother. Someone dangles the camera with its broken lens. A photograph. Fardel stands before the Dome of the Rock, supports his camera on his shoulder. Bright creamy skin, dark gaze, pensive fingers. Such long nails. Did he play guitar? Someone else holds the camera. You can't help, help but have a response to the uh, images that you see and to the stories that you see. And I needed some way of processing that in a way. I needed somewhere to put the emotions that I was having viewing this material. And I found that poetry was a really good vehicle for expressing those feelings. For the messengers is for the people who go out all over the world and bring back stories from quite extreme situations. So we have news and so we can see what's going on. The book's dedicated to Fadel Shanar, who is a Reuters cameraman who was killed in April of 2008. And it's, well, it's dedicated to him because he died in the course of collecting a story. Mm. Every poem which entirely derives of her day job, looking at all this footage going through her screen, makes you feel she was there. And she's never been anywhere in this book. Because of Afghanistan next door. I think it kind of um, emphasizes the absolute core issues within an event and distills them into something which weaves emotionally through your system and trips all those responses that sometimes television fails to.